Hey, Christian Karaswitz here. Um, you know, I'm sitting in the airport working on a presentation and, you know, a lot of uh, people, you know, you see them carrying around laptops and whatnot these days. And um, with the advent of mobile devices and our move towards mobile technology like the iPhone, the iPad, etc., um, we don't necessarily need to carry around these bulky laptops much anymore. And today we're going to show you how to use a program called Dropbox um, to take your presentations with you to have them accessible uh, on an iPad, an iPhone, etc. Um, so to get started, you know, I, I've created this presentation in PowerPoint and you know, pretty much um, I'm going to just save this to my desktop. So I have my file ready. Well, what's the next step that I need to do? Well, in order to use Dropbox, you actually have to have Dropbox downloaded. It's a free uh, download. And to do that, you basically go to dropbox.com. It's available for your PC, your Mac, um, as well as your mobile devices. And what this will give you is uh, cloud storage, basically. In this case, uh, two gigs of storage for free. If I want to upgrade that, I can. Um, and so once you've downloaded this and installed this, uh, let's walk you through transferring that presentation we just saved uh, to Dropbox. So we've downloaded the presentation. I'm going to go over here. And um, basically, I have a folder here called Dropbox that shows me all of the uh, files and whatnot that I have up here. So I'm going to actually create one, a folder called Presentations. And all we're going to do is this. We're going to drag Presentation 1 into the Dropbox. And now if you go over here, it'll say it's uploading one file. Um, granted, I'll tell you right now, Dropbox does take a little bit of time to upload. Um, it's not, uh, not the quickest, but at the same time, it does allow you to pull this information into your mobile devices. So in this case, we started uh, transferring this file. So um, once, once Dropbox has finished, um, I'm going to switch over to now show you how to access this from your mobile phone and your uh, mobile your tablet. So now that we've uh, created our presentation on our laptop and we've uploaded it to Dropbox, I want to just take a moment and show you how to access it from your mobile phone. So to get started, um, let's see if I can get this uh, lined up here where everybody can see it. Uh, I'm going to install the Dropbox app. I've already ha I already have it installed. Um, if you need to download it from the iTunes Store, which it is a free download, it's um, just search for Dropbox, all one word. And once you've done this, uh, you're going to get a list of presentations here. Well, sorry, a list of folders. So let me see if I can tap. Okay, so as you see here, I have a folder called presentations. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. Called presentations. So what you're going to do is you're just going to tap the item. And in this case, remember we had a file called presentation one. Look at that presentation1.ppt. So what's uh, great about this now is that if I have a PowerPoint viewer installed, um, I can open the uh, file and there you have it. There's my presentation. Let's see if it rotates. Look at that, it rotates. And I can review my presentation. Um, in this case, you know, I don't have, uh, I don't have the Keynote application installed, which is a, uh, it's Apple's version of PowerPoint, but um, the great thing is, you know, I can go on and I can practice this. I, I can then load that item uh, into uh, my iPhone, for instance, and if I have, uh, and then I can use this um, to review presentations and whatnot when I'm on the go. Um, now, switching to an iPad, let me show you how this works as well. It's very similar. Again, you search for the word Dropbox. There we have it. Okay, we're going to load up the Dropbox app, and it's actually designed for the uh, iPad, as you can see here. Um, and we're going to scroll down to the folder called Presentations. Look at that, right there. So let's go over here and let's uh, click on that. And in this case, um, again, the file. In this case, the file shows up. I can click on it. And it's going to load. And look at that. I have my presentation. Um, and now what's great about this is that if I ever want to email this to somebody, I can. But if you notice over here in the uh, right-hand corner, it says um, open in, in this case, documents to go, good reader, etc. These are apps um, that will allow you to do some editing of some of your presentations. 
So in this case, I'm going to open it in Documents to Go, which, uh, by the way, it's not a free app. Um, but I'm going to open it in here, and let's see if we can edit this. So as you can see, it's still loading. And look at that, I have my presentation. And I can go in and I can, you know, I can make some minor edits to this sort of stuff. Um, see, I can go in here, I can, uh, I can change that out. So um, there you have it. That's how to use uh, Dropbox uh, on your uh, laptop, on your computer, sorry, on your laptop, on your tablet, and also on your mobile phone. Um, not only can you put up presentations, but let's just say you wanted to take pictures with you. You want to take some music, video, etc. You know, you have to have an internet connection to be able to pull this information down from the cloud. But what's great is that um, if you know, if you have a, in the case of a smartphone, if you've got a 3G signal, you know, you can pull this um, down. You know, when you're sitting in the airport or, or doing whatnot. So, um, if you have any questions about this, uh, don't hesitate to ask. It's great for taking documents and whatnot with me for presentations. So, hope everybody has a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye.